and it's kit build time. I'm going to be making a infrared proximity detector, one of those cheap little kits off of AliExpress, though you can probably find it on eBay and Amazon. Uh, there's the board. Essentially, you have the transmitter on this side, the receiver on this side. I'll have to fix, put something in between them. Uh, it's nicely laid out. Give you a complete parts list. That all, by the looks of it, everything's there. And the circuit diagram with Schmidt crit triggers. And can go into that later. What I'll do though is not bore you with all my soldering, but what I'll do is start with the small components, put those on, solder, put on the next, solder, etc. etc. and take snapshots as I'm going along. So, first the diodes. And one pesty little diode decided to fall through, or tried to. Yeah, that looks better. So, there's all the quarter watt resistors, and now I just need to solder them in. Now that the quarter watts are soldered in, I'll just snip off the leads. I did have to touch up uh, one. I uh, forgot to solder it. And now the, I think these are the one watt resistors. I put a 33 in here and a hundred's going in here. I tend to uh, use one of these things to pre-bend them. It just makes life a bit easier and they kind of look prettier. And now I'll solder those in place. And time to snip them off. Time for the little capacitors. And for the little capacitors, I don't bend the leads on them. I just sacrifice my uh, nerves at the tips of my fingers. And I did actually have to straighten uh, one resistor down here. Time to put the indicator LED in. Uh, anode being the longer one. And next the transistors. They don't come pre-bent. Uh, that you just have to work out yourself. So the transistors are in, uh, keeping in mind what the numbers are, there's one uh, 9013 and the rest were 9012s and flat side facing flat side. And, and, and all those are trimmed now. I just flip it around and now it's time to put on the bigger capacitors. I had to reorient, reorientate the board. And now it's time to put on these ones. Two terminal blocks, and I'll just rotate it over and solder them in. And now the pen potentiometer. Uh, this part here is indicated by that there. And I double checked by looking on the picture. <laughs> and after the potentiometer, I'll put in the socket. I'm going to have to take this, there's a few bent pins, so I'm going to have to pause and solder one of the leads on. There we go. And get another one, just for good measure. And then just finish off soldering up the rest of them. It's time to stick the relay on. And flip it over and solder. So it's just a matter of tacking one on, or for good measure, two. Cover the pad. Then touching up the rest.
trying not to dwell on it for too long. Keeping in mind when you put this on, have the notch line up with the notch on the board so that your number one pins come into the right place. And hopefully nothing was bent. No, it looks good. And we're almost there. And my battery's about to run out. So, uh, cathode's the short one. That one goes there. And then I'll do the next. Presto, done. Uh, I'm going to have to test it a tiny bit later because my phone is down to about 12%. So, see you in a moment. Well, your time moment. So, everything is set up now. Uh, cell phone's charged. So, I've got a relay hooked up through here, so I'm just measuring the resistance. And as I move my hand across, it triggers... The signal holds the relay, so the thing works. Now, holding my hand way over here, nothing, nothing. Yeah, okay, maybe I should hold my hand in the line of the path of the signal. Okay, let's try this higher up. Wait till it resets. Slowly move in. So for something like my hand, it's there. I'm like a bit more reflective. Maybe. It's a tiny bit further over. Okay, watch your eyes. I'm about to turn off the light. Let it reset. So it's got roughly a range of 5, 10, 15, 20, about 22 uh, centimeters, which isn't too bad. And this pot here, you turn it um, counterclockwise, uh, the delay on the relay is longer. So, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and previously is about 6. So to look at the actual waveform, which kind of explains how this thing works, and get rid of the glare. So basically it transmits uh, a pattern and probably if it gets the high on both the transmit and the receive at the same time. I suspect that's how it's triggered. I'll take a look a bit more into it, but these things are pretty simple. And that's it. Have a good day.